I've gotten a video request from Fire Alarm Tech 4477 on how to wire a Simplex True Alert speaker strobe. So, today I'm going to show you how to do that. This, this is also a trial run for a new series on how to do various fire alarm stuff. So, one thing you need to know about this alarm here is it is a smart sync alarm, meaning that it has to have a special panel to run with it, such as a 4100U or a 4001 or any simplex panel that's compatible with smart sync. I do not have one of those panels, but what you can do is you can buy a smart sync module that will make the strobe flash properly. Those are for sale on Amazon.com and various other stores, and they go for about $100. The speaker portion wires very similarly to all other speaker strobes, such as this one here, the Wheelock E70 speaker strobe. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to wire the speaker portion of this fire alarm here. In order for this to work, you're going to need to take a little trip down to Radio Shack. What you're going to need to get is the mini amplifier and speaker. The product is a white box that looks something like this. I'm not a very good drawer when it comes to these things, so I will do my best. It's a little box like this. It has the logo, yada yada yada. On the side you'll notice there are three ports, one for a transformer, that can plug into a wall outlet. Let's put some outlet prongs in there. And, as an, and another one that can connect to an external speaker, such as an iHome product of some sort, or a monster cable. If you don't know what a monster cable is, a monster cable is just an MP3 jack with an en another MP3 jack end on it. This is your best friend. This is what's going to get you the sound out of your speaker strip. What you're then going to do is you're going to take that newly bought module you're going to do and you're actually going to break it open. So you have two halves right here. This is the module broken open. Right here you'll have some sort of speaker thing, to my knowledge, and a circuit board like this. And it'll have a bunch of stuff on it. There will be wires connecting to the speaker. What you're going to do is you're going to need to cut these wires with a wire cutter. Then, you're going to take your speaker strobe, which I will attempt to draw. Ooh. There we go, there's your speaker strobe, poorly drawn. And then you're going to tie those wires that you just cut into the speaker ports on your speaker strobe. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to take your monster cable and you're going to plug it in to where it goes in the circuit port. And if you remember, it's, one, it's this hole right here. Then, you're going to take your phone and you're going to plug it into the jack. Like that, and you're going to play whatever you want through your speaker. There's a look at the module that's inside the little module that we bought at Radio Shack. It's a little green circuit port, and as you can see, I've added wires to extend the length up through my conduit to my E70 speaker strobe that's installed up there. So now that I connected the speaker strobe to the module, I'm going to cover another request. This request was made by Weminock Alarms. Go check out his channel in the description. Um, same with Fire Alarm Tech 4477. Um, and he asked me to use one of the sirens he designed because he's an electronic music enthusiast and makes electronic music. So I will be using that siren for the test today. Um, so I think that does it. So without further ado, here we go. Shout out to Women Off Alarms, Fire Tech, Fire Alarm Tech 4477, and 
I also got another request from Simplex Freak to do a Simplex voice evacuation in German, and that will happen in another video coming soon. Um, so anyway, like the video, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel.